Hello all, this video is on ultrasonic distance measurement with voice playback. This is the final result of the project. We make use of a voice playback board from Circuits World. You can check my previous video on this board. We are using flash version of uh, so this voice board. Flash version has got 25Q32 onboard 4MB flash IC. So there is no need of SD card or uh, pen drive. And there is uh, a serial TX to RX access and onboard amplifier so you can connect speaker directly to this board. First we will prepare the voice clips. We can use uh, online text to speech uh, facility or you can download this Bala Bolka software. Bala Bolka is Russian word for uh, chatter. There is also a standalone and portable version of this software. Open this software and under the text area you can type in the content for a speech conversion. You have voice settings facility, tone, pitch, volume and also you can set the voice as male or female voice. If you want more options, setting options, you can go to tools and then click on online TTS service, text to speech service. Here you can uh, get the access to Google Cloud, Amazon, IBM and others. Here uh, you have more options. Select the text and click on play. Object is within 5 centimeters. And then click file, save audio file. And then save it to a folder. Uh, in the name, uh, provide a name and then save it as .mp3 file. So all the files to be saved as .mp3. Same way, uh, uh, make the for other clips. Object is between 5 and 10 centimeters. This is the second clip. Save this uh, audio in the same folder as .mp3 file. Object is between 10 and 15 centimeters. So we have prepared uh, seven files, uh, voice files, and stored in a folder. Now connect the uh, voice board to the PC. This board will open as a flash drive. By default, there is a folder, 01 folder, with some sample clippings. Delete that folder, and then copy and paste the voice uh, uh, clippings we have prepared. Drag and drop that folder onto this uh, flash drive and then rename the folder as 01. The folders uh, should be in two digits 01299. So uh, we are having only one folder, name it as 01, and inside that files name it as 001002. So all the file names should be in three digits. We have total 7 files in this folder, 001 to 007. Rename the files. Now remove the USB cable from the board. This is very important. Once the files are ready, you remove the USB cable from uh, PC. Use an external power source for the voice board. For testing, use the ground pulse to trigger the pins. Now the voice board is working. Let us test the ultrasonic sensor with Arduino. So here the trigger pin of ultrasonic is connected to D7 and the echo pin is connected to D8. The power to ultrasonic sensor is taken from the Arduino Uno you know itself. This is the Arduino code for testing ultrasonic. Here we declare two constants, for uh, one for trigger pin 7 and another for echo pin 8. And inside wide setup we start the serial begin at uh, 9600 baud. Inside wide loop uh, we declare the trigger pin as output and we uh, generate a 2 microsecond uh, pulse. So the object will reflect and uh, it is received at the echo pin. We use pulse in function of the Arduino to calculate the pulse width received at the echo pin. And then duration is calculated in centimeters and assigned to a variable CM. Now click on upload and then open the serial monitor. Now the ultrasonic sensor is working and uh, distance is printed in centimeters in the serial monitor. Now before uh, 
connecting the voice board to the Arduino. Let us change the ultrasonic code to match the voice board. In the ultrasonic code, let us add an array of type byte. So this array, uh, we'll name it as voice uh, one. This has got three bytes of data in hex. First is the folder name, second one is the file name, and third is the carriage written, 0D. So this is how we send uh, data to the to access the files from the from our voice board. You can check our previous video for a detailed uh, description. Link in the description below. As we have got seven voice samples, let us create uh, seven arrays of uh, type byte and uh, within the three bytes of data. First one is the folder name, second one is the file name and third one is the carriage written. We are using 0D in hex for the carriage written. Decimal is uh, 013. In hex it is 0D. So like that we have created seven arrays. And let us uh, name it as voice 1, voice 2 and up to voice 7. And inside the void loop, uh, let us comment out the serial dot print as it will as it will affect the uh, serial data while connected to voice port. If you are using a uh, soft serial, this can uh, this is not required. And let us call a function uh, voice call. This user divide function. We have to write separate code for this function. So inside this uh, voice call function, we use if classes to decide which uh, voice uh, uh, MP3 file to play. The distance is stored in CM variable. So if uh, CM is less than or equal to five centimeter, then we use the serial dot print to print the AT plus PL command. This is the command required to access the files from our voice board. AT plus PL equal to first is folder number, second is the file number, and the third one is the carriage return. So we use uh, serial dot print for uh, printing AT plus PL and then we use serial dot write to print the values in hex that is the for we have stored it in array three bytes of data we use serial dot write and then the voice one comma three bytes of data this is how to use the serial dot write function in Arduino code and finally a delay is very important this delay is according to the uh, play uh, timing of the voice message if voice message is long you have to include more delay like this uh, you copy and paste the same if class and then change the uh, conditions the second uh, if class is uh, if cm is greater than equal to 5 and less than equal to 10 centimeter then we play the second uh, voice message use the command at plus pl and then the uh, folder name folder number file number and uh, carriage return this is stored in the array so like this we create uh, if class for the seven messages save this file and then uh, in the Arduino id select the borders Arduino you know and then click on upload the code is compiled and automatically uploaded after the code is uploaded you have to connect the rx and tx wires of Arduino to the tough uh, uh, voice board so as we are using hardware serial we have to do this connection only after uploading the code if you are using software serial you can directly upload as you are using hardware serial only after uploading the code you have to connect this connect, uh, do this connection tx to rx and rx to tx and ground to ground five centimeters. object is within five centimeters object is between five and ten centimeters object is between ten and fifteen centimeters object is between ten and fifteen centimeters object is between ten and fifteen centimeters object is between fifteen and twenty centimeters object is between five and ten centimeters object is within so the project is working successfully with voice playback thank you for watching